hey guys so i just want to do a little video today it probably won't be that long um but i thought we could make another little order together so i got an order i get quite a lot of orders for people's pets that have passed away which is so sad i have had a pet pass away um a couple of cats and a dog and it's genuinely heartbreaking so i always find these quite special to do because I don't know, I want to just like encompass their pet um, and have something really nice for them to remember them by. So uh, we have had a little order for the very cute Dylan. The owner has let me know, I know he looks white um, furred in the pictures, the owner has let me know that he was very grey furred um, and then he got whiter as he got older. So yeah. I want to have a really chill little making sesh with you guys and we'll we'll make Dylan. I also have like a bunch of items that I have been trying to make like necklaces and things um, that have been sitting there and need painting and I just haven't got around to painting anything so I might add that in also at the end of the video. Um, and we can sit down and make a couple of new products together so yeah i don't know if i will do a little bit of talking or just put some music as we make dinner So he's finished. Look at them together. So cute. Good morning. So I showed you Dylan. Um, I've now got my 
cup of tea in my favourite mug. I didn't make this, I painted this. Um, I can't wait to make my own. And I'm using my little mug rug, that's really bad. Um, but I punch needled this myself, I'm going to do a video on punch needling some mug rugs, um, which will look better than this. This was really bad fabric, and it was so hard to do. But we can do better, we can do better. So I'm going to package up little Dylan this morning. I'm ready to go out. I'm going to move my face. There we go. Um, so what I need is a little box. Let's make that. I watch people make these boxes in like seconds and I don't know how they do that. I can't do that. Perfect. Then we grab some tissue paper. Um, I guess we're just going for a blue theme here. Purely because of the colour. So we grab two pieces of blue and pop it in the box. There's a nice little bed. And then Dylan fits in. Perfect. Then I write a, um, I have these little thank you cards here um, with a little bit in the back so I can write a nice little personalised message um, and then I'm going to add in a free little sticker as well, a little dog, which I think is super cute. Perfect, so that was Dylan. Um, so now I'm actually going to start painting the um, other items that I have. So I'll take you through what they are um, and the vision that I have for them. And then we can paint and finish those up. Um, and then I'll probably have them up on my store as well. As a side note, I've actually been drawing a few um, designs and I wanna show you one that I put on a tote bag and then I'll show you the other one um, which I also want to put on a tote bag. Uh, I have some tote bags coming today, so I'll show you those. Look at this guy. He is so cute. He's a little cat. Um, and he just looks so awkward. I'm thinking of adding text to the top and the bottom of these. Um, but I've also got a dog design here. But I think it's so cute and it feels so nice. I've just had a delivery of lovely little plastic bags. Oh, they look a bit small. I have my sticker sets of four little animal stickers just to package them nicely and keep them protected. And then I'm going to make probably some backing cards um, to go in these as well. Perfect. It's actually been a few days now. Um, work has been a little bit crazy and I went to a photography exhibition, so I haven't done any painting. Not that the time has made any difference for you guys, uh, but just letting you know, um, it's been like two days. And in that time, I actually did get another pet order that they needed shipped out quite quickly, so I have done that. So cute! Absolutely adorable. Love this little guy. Um, but we're still going to paint, okay? We are still going to paint. And this video actually comes out um, very soon uh, compared to when I'm filming this. So I'm trying to get one out every week. Um, and I just wanted to put in here that my, let's prop you up, that my Valentine's, his and hers keychains are still available. So you can see tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, I have two sets of these little babies but they are they are still available um and i can still get them out especially in the uk for valentine's day so if you do want these you know where to go so yeah i'm actually thinking of doing some painting finally let's go so these are all the items that i am hoping to paint 
So I've got the bear token, the uh, fox, two cats for necklaces. This is a cat I made a while ago. It's going to be a ginger cat. Um, and I'm going to give it a dangling little tail. And then these are going to be two fox head earrings. So it turns out I am an amazing content creator because I just did all the painting and didn't film it. Yep. Okay, so let's show you where we are. And I haven't glazed or anything, I've just painted everything because I'm dumb. But I really wanted to get these done, so I'm not too mad at myself. Um, yeah. So we've got the, I've got everything everywhere now. The two little foxes earrings ready to glaze. Then we've got the fox, um, I don't know what to call this, like spirit animal totem thing. So the fox one there. And then we've got the little bear one, super cute. We've got the ginger cat with its tail. So that will go together like that. Great. We've got the um, one of the cats for the necklaces. I haven't done the black on the eyes yet because the white is still drying. And then finally, the, the little grey kitty cat necklace piece. Glazing. Yippee! Right, we've got some glazed pieces now. We have the two foxes that are going to be earrings. Um, this is going to be a little bear keychain. And he has a cute little tail. Uh, this is for the cat custom cat necklaces. Um, and that's going to be paired with that to make the necklace. Then this is going to be a silver custom cat necklace as well. Then we've got the fox spirit animal phone charm. And then we have the little ginger cat with its little dangly tail, which I'll show you together once I put it all together. I finished them. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, one of them I haven't done because I just don't know if I want to make it into a necklace or a bracelet yet. Um, but that's fine. Doesn't need to be done. I will now show you the finished items. Okay, so we've got our oh gosh we've got our little bear there he is then we have the fox then we have the fox there also very cute um what should we go next the cat oh my god look at this is that showing it i don't know look at that guy i really like this one so that's the cat with the dangly tail. Then we have the fox earrings that I've made as little huggies. These are super, super, super cute. Very nice. I didn't bother putting this little eye on anything yet. And then we have the necklace. So this is what the cat necklace looks like. And then on the sort of adjusting clasp, I've put a tiny little uh bead on the end there just so it looks cute when you do it up a nice little necklace so yeah these i'm gonna offer as um custom cats so your own little kitty cats on a lovely little gold necklace so yeah now that I've shown you it all, it doesn't seem like there was that much, uh, but it's things I really wanted to get done and I'm very, very pleased that they are done now. So that's probably it for this video. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on the punch needling. Um, this one's so bad, but I want to do a whole video on punch needling and getting better at that. 
So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure you subscribe and then you'll be notified when that's out. I'm hoping to get that out in the next couple of weeks. And I've been learning ceramics, um, so that video will also be coming out, which is very exciting. And I've been designing some new tote bags and different kinds of tote bags. So I want to do another video of heat pressing and getting those tote bags ready as well. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else that you want to see, um, any behind the scenes, any questions um, that you want me to like sort of film the process of, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you next week.